What is going on everybody? I am Jay Tarantino, your resident guitar boss, and today I am going to teach you how to play some licks from the Ethereum song, The Inevitable End. So this week's lick starts off on the 11th fret on the D string, so we're doing 11, 12, then we're doing 11, 12 on G, back to 11, back to 12 on the D string, so. Then we're doing 11, 12, 11, 14, 11, 12, so. So those first two parts go like this. Then we're doing 11, 12, 11, 12, 10, 14, 10, 12, so. So we're doing 10, 14, 10, 12, then we're doing 11, 12, skipping the B string and doing 10, 14 on the high E string. So again, that whole phrase slow goes like this. All right, so the next part of this phrase, uh, we're starting 11th fret on the G, and we're doing 11, 14 on the high E, 12, 14, 10, 14, so. Then we're gonna do nine on the high E. Same pattern, 14, 12, 14, 10, so. Then we're gonna go to the B string and do 12, and then we're gonna do 10. So the notes on the high E string stay the same, we're just changing the first note. So again, that phrase slow goes like this. Then we're gonna move up to the 14th fret. We're gonna do 14, 17, so. So then 14, 17, 15, 17, 14, 17, so. Then we're doing 12, 17, 15, 17, 14, 17, so. Then we're doing a 15 on the B string, and then 14. So again, that whole thing slows like this. Now for the final part, we're gonna move up to the 16th fret on the G and we're gonna do 16, 19, 17, 19, 15, 19. So then we're gonna do 14, then we're gonna do uh, 17 on the B string and 15 on the B string. So again, that whole thing slow goes like this.
So again, that whole section sounds like this. So now we're going into the next section, which features uh, a melody. Uh, this is where the, the key changes, the rhythm section changes, and we play the same riff in E minor. And so what I'm doing here is I'm playing a melody, and there's another guitar that's doubling it an octave higher. So that melody starts off a ninth, ninth fret on the G to 8, 9 again, slide to 11, 12. So. So some of the notes I kind of slide into, so that's how I started off. I just slide into it, slide again, slide again. You could just play it straight too. As well. But the slide to me sounds a little bit better. So again. And you want to add vibrato to each note too. Not too crazy, but just a little bit. So. We're gonna do hammer on 11, 12, 14, and 13, 12, 8, 10, 8, 7, and then 8 on the G. So. so for the next section, we're starting it off exactly the same way. So we're doing 9, 8, 9. 11, 12, and then we're doing uh, two hammer-ons. So we're doing 11, 12, 14, this is all in the G string. So we're doing 11, 12, 14, and then 12, 14, 16, so. And then 13, 12, 8, 10, 8, 7, and then eight on the G. So again, that whole thing slow goes like this. Alright, so now we are into the fourth and final part of this lick, and um, this section features a sequence of arpeggios that's played with alternate picking and string skipping, uh, sort of like Paul Gilbert. And um, so the sequence goes B minor, A major, G major, F sharp minor. So the first arpeggio starts off 22nd fret on the E string, so we're doing 22, 19 on E, and then we're doing 23, 19, 23 on the G string. So for this whole thing, we're going to skip B. We're just playing on the E string and the G string. So it's... And then you're going to go to 17 as the final note, and then that's going to start the next arpeggio over again. So... Next arpeggio is 21, 17, 21, 18, 21. So... Going to 15, so. This next arpeggio is the exact same pattern as the one we just did, so we're doing 19, 15, 19, 16, 19, so. Going to 14, and we're doing 17, 14, 18, 14, 18, so. And then we're going to go up each arpeggio one time, so... So again, that whole sequence goes like this. And then once we hit that B note on the E, we start the whole thing over again, so... And I just hold that note out there, that 22nd fret on the E string. So on the recording I don't do that, but live I'll hold it out and then go into the next part. And uh, that's the entire lick, so that's the entire section. Alright, so that's it. That is the entire bridge section of the Ethereum song, The Inevitable End. 
And next week we will tackle some other parts of the song towards the beginning. We'll tackle the intro and the verse. And until then, keep practicing and I'll see you next time.